Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B! Before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No. I'm Dean. He's dumb. <gasps> You're gonna tell me, right now, but... Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this place. Rich fucks in the woods. Need to shake down. Now, right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? 
No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Please. Please. is going on you should be thanking me it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Bigby, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. 
for Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. Have to find some place to cool off. Alright, D. Let's get to know each other. Are you... Someone murdered Snow White. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. This episode will have him going in circles. Oh, fuck! <gasps> so, this is how it's gonna be. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. Where's your brother, D? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's... since we ran into you. But he didn't kill anybody, so you leave him alone. You don't call the shots here, D. You were looking for Faith. For her fucking apartment! That's no secret, you saw me there. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D, since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? I'm not telling you shit. You're a mess. You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers. You punch up my fucking face, and now you want to be best friends? No fucking way! You're out of your mind! You weren't answering my questions. As long as you're being helpful, there's no need for violence. Unbelievable. Look, Big B. 
This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. Come on, Dean. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. for this! Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! Beauty was wrong about you! You're just a sick- Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough! I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess. Fuck you! Don't put this on me! What's going on down here?